Hey guys, uh, welcome to W2O. I'm Saurav Sangupta, and today we are going to do a basic review of the iPad Mini with Retina. Now, I've been using this for around seven months right now, and this works really good. And I have this for this particular review, I've installed a lot of applications and games. Uh, the applications are the basic ones that I use for my video editing, sound editing, anything like that. And the games I've installed to check the integrity of the processing speeds and the RAM. So this device is uh, comprising of a uh, 1GB of RAM and still it holds up to the expectations and it shows no lag at all even I've used up all the internal memory to install games. I only have 736 megabytes left but uh, still it is working superbly. So I'll just do a basic game test uh, when the memory is full. So it is basically a review with uh, given a condition. So without uh, further ado, let's just check uh, how well does it perform. So hey guys, as you can see, I have the iPad mini with Retina over here with me. And this is a pretty smooth device. I've been using for seven months and I cannot say for a moment that I've been disappointed by this device. Uh, it has fulfilled all of my needs and expectations uh, properly. And uh, as you can see, I have installed so many games over there. All of these games are installed for just for the reviewing purpose. And these are the softwares that I basically use, the iMovie to edit my clips right now, uh, the GarageBand to edit my musical clips, I, I need the Jam Up for my guitar practice, and the YouTube obviously you know why. And I have installed this Antutu benchmark to do a benchmark test uh, in order to check uh, how it is working after I have installed all the applications. And uh, other than that there are mostly games and these are the pre-installed applications that came with the iPad. So right now I'm going to do a benchmark test at first to check uh, how does the device perform after I've installed so many applications. So here's the Antutu benchmark. As you can see, this shows the device info directly. It has a 1 GB RAM, a 1.2 megapixel front camera, a back camera of 5 megapixel, is a retina display and a 1.3 gigahertz uh, A7 processor. So I'll start the test. So as you can see right now it shows the results and uh, basically a comparison of several devices with this result. So the iPad Air is at around 42,000. The iPhone 5S is around at uh, 40,000 whereas my device is 35,403 whereas the original iPad Mini 2 is supposed to be at more than 36,000. So right now you can see the performance has reduced a bit because of so many installed applications and uh, games and everything like that but uh, it is not produced drastically because of some Android devices and other operating systems that use uh, when the internal memory is used up the device performance almost reduced to none because uh, it frequently lags it freezes up it stops working there are so many problems but in this case it you can see it works just fine and it has just reduced a wee bit because of the all these applications and that the internal memory is used up so you can understand that the operating system the ios is very light and it really works well with this ipad mini and um, right now i'm going to play two or three games in order for you to understand if it is lagging or not now the main thing i've realized that uh, you can use up all these games but the game that lags the most in most of the android devices is subway surfers whenever you play subway surfers you will notice a tiny lag even if you are playing on a device that is equipped with very high specifications but you've been using that for one year or something like uh, my Asus Zenfone 5 I'm using it for three or four months and now it lags a bit because when I play Subway Surfers I don't know why it still has 2GB RAM but I've installed a lot of applications it has only 1.2GB memory free and since it lags but uh, over here it's only 736 MBs I will first show you so I go to usage and uh, you can see over here the I don't know if you can see it so hold on I'll yes now you can see that I have total used of 11.2 GBs and I have a free memory of only 760 MBs so you can understand it is almost left with 
no memory spaces at all so right now what we are going to do we are going to check the gaming gaming the gaming performance of the ipad mini and before i start any of the games i would also like to tell you that uh, the games i can play for a really long time it really improves the battery life the battery life is really good in the ipad mini and uh, right now you can see i only have around 10 percent of charge and i've been using these for around uh, three days without charging i'm using this for three days without charging i have been editing movies and everything but it still doesn't seem to i don't know why but it gives a lot of charge it really preserves the charge so as you can see there's mostly no lag at all So you can see at this point many Android devices would have just free or frozen up and given up but uh, this is still going on and it's working superbly without any lag. So okay I died but uh, that said I can understand that uh, it, it does not have any lag. Uh, you can see it's working pretty smoothly. Uh, though I will do one thing, I will open up two or three applications together. These are pretty huge games. This is one from Game Laugh. This is the Brothers in War or something like that. I will wait for this game to load up, then I will open another game. So as you can see this game is completely loaded up. And I can play this right now but I will not be playing. Instead I will be minimizing this. And this is Mortal Kombat 5. This needs to extract some files as I've just downloaded this game in order to do this review. These are basically for test purpose. Nobody plays this kind of games uh, all together, all three at once. So uh, it's really vague. But I still would like to test the processing capabilities of the iPad Mini because this is a really well decorated. Uh, it's a really well decorated game, and these are high highly specified games that uh, these are very heavy games as you can see uh, now this is asphalt 8 even this is loading up One negative thing about Asphalt 8, you cannot skip this uh, intro videos that they show. It's a real dislike because I, every time I play a race, I need to see these things. Okay, thank you, bye bye. And uh, lastly, we'll open San Andreas. Basically you can see it's like around 5 to 6 games are running at the same point of time and all of these are really heavy games. So you can see that all of these are really heavy games as like Brothers in Action, Mortal Kombat 5, Asphalt 8, San Andreas and the graphics is working really smoothly, the games are working pretty smooth. You can see I can just go ahead. I can. I can just run around and everything, there is no lag, nothing at all. So the device actually takes everything you throw towards it. Everything you put it, everything you would like to do, uh, it will just do it without any lag, without any 
problem without any 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 basically any things that you throw towards it it will work just simply fine and i have tried i've tried enough to i'm a really heavy user i just wanted to test its limits that how far can it go before it lags or freezes up but uh, these are like the heavy games and these are all are pretty heavy games and i've used up the memory so i cannot install any more games also so that's it you can see like and lastly temple run the display of the ipad mini is also marvelous it just does justice to every game you play game videos 1080 pixels everything yeah, they just look really sharp and really crisp and uh, you can see there is no lag at most of the situations in any android devices or something like that at this point you would have uh, lost your hope in playing any game because it would be not have been working and you can see right now over here i can just use every control ability and everything uh, without any worries that it will be hanging or lagging or anything like that so this is a really good device and a really reliable and portable device that uh, takes uh, processing level and speeds up to its next level so that's it i would just open the subway surfer to check once again if it does lag or not if it does not then i have nothing to say basically this is it this is it if uh, the android phones would have been coming with this kind of processing capabilities then obviously it does it cannot so now we see a lag in subway surfer you see there are tiny lags but still, I ah yes, I missed a jump. This is basically for the testing purpose, so you do not need to be concerned that your device is going to lag or something. If you want to go for this, then go for this. Uh, uh, it has uh, launched. Apple has launched the iPad Mini 3 also, which basically is the same thing, but uh, only consisting of the fingerprint scanner. So that's the difference. And otherwise, uh, you can see this is a really hell of a device and it just takes everything you throw towards it so thank you that's it for today if you do like my videos click on the like button below and uh, for more videos that i'm going to upload soon enough please click on the subscribe button and you will be getting notifications of every video that i upload so thank you bye bye i hope to see you in my next video